Alright, alright. Mm. Little bit. Alright, so let's check some quests around Chenyu Veil. Vale. I've been lazy to start most of them. I don't think you'll be able to Peace complete prevails them all throughout the land, today. and all things are made pure. Skyward, scatter. But I marked the ones that just nearby, and the ones I saw on the map online. So, mm -hmm. shit. No. Ah. <laughs> Guijaro. This cat, of course, this has to be it. Great, I just knew it. Guijaro, we know her? Is there something wrong with this cat? Uh, I believe it is. Uh, oh, you know, Spamon, imagine running to you here. Where do you know you from? What are you doing in Chowing Village? Who is she? Uh, have you finished writing your book? You wouldn't still happen to be writing weird things, would you? Or have symptoms of paranoia? We're not in Fontaine anymore. You're... Ah! Sh that's her. We're in, uh, you're quite away from home. Or have symptoms of paranoia? Oh, no, no. I already finished writing the book. Right now, it's just a matter of waiting for the court craft of Fontaine to get printed and go on sale. Oh, Primus Hook just hearing the title. What's the book about? Let's see, it's about a curly detective and his fearless little sister, who's also acting as his assistant. They come across a crime museum, which holds within it the evidence for countless crimes. Throughout the story, they also encounter a missing twin, it's a mecha puppet that cries, and a museum creator who's been drowned in his fountain. And in the end, you're gonna spoil it. They find out that the prime suspect is none other than the child, than a child who just turned three years old. How? <laughs> okay, now that that I'm getting chills. It sounds like quite the case. Uh, once it officially goes on sale, I'll send you both autograph copies. Score, but Paimo might be too scared to read it overall. Doesn't she like a detective novels? It's decided then. Inus, please read it to Paimo. I'm also too scared. I'm also too scared. Really? Then looks like our only choice to read it together. Come on, you two. No need to ham it up like that. It's just a crime novel, not a horror story. As for something truly terrifying, I'm planning on writing a new novel. I've already made a rough outline, and I've been looking everywhere for new material to use as inspiration for the details. Hey, don't look at me like that. This time, all I want to do is combine a crime novel with some local folk tales. Even if we are collecting reference materials, there's no way I'll be all paranoid and jumpy like before. Why not do this in Fontaine? You came all the way to Charing Village just to get some reference material. After all, Fontaine's folk tales have been written to death. I just want to write something original. I also just so happened to have a that a friend of mine was planning to come here to check out the tea business, so I tagged along. No sooner had I stepped off the boat than I discovered some truly stellar subject matter. Just as I was considering how to best pursue the matter, you two came over. To borrow the local Liu Lingua, this would be uh, destined to meet, though originally separated by more than a thousand miles. They're adapting to the local culture, I see. How should I put it? Well, maybe it's no wonder you're a great writer. You're so quick when it comes to understanding the local customs. Did you just say you've already found something? There's nothing here. Say who? Look, do you see this cat? Seen from the start, but what's so strange about the cat? Unless it isn't a cat, and instead... 
You think so too? I knew it. Oh, our great minds always think alike. What? No, 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 no. That's not at all. No matter what, it looks like it's just an ordinary little cat, kitty. You know, confused kitty. Uh, you must be unaware. In the legends of Charming Village, there are strange beasts known as Swanwen. Swanwen? Beasts? Maybe. Uh, according to the legends, these strange beasts appear like young cats and can sense good and evil, concealing themselves at night and rising with the sun, eating, uh, eating the wind and drinking dew, crossing a thousand miles in a day and gnawing tea trees at night to nourish themselves. Anyway, that's what the article in Bedazzled said at least. You can, you can tell from the name, it's a lot of tribe. Where did you dig up a tabloid like that? Feels like whoever wrote that, all they heard was a name showing beast. And they just tossed every real rumor they've ever heard into a pot and started steering. Still, based on my own investigations, there are indeed swarming beasts near Chowing Village. Uh, even if I'm still a bit fuzzy on the details, as long as they exist, then I can study and use them. Wow, the jar is completely different from before. She used to be so scared and timid. And now she came all the way here with nothing but a name to go on. Uh, apologies, it's one of my faults. As soon as I start writing, I'll find myself drawn into the same mindset as the book's characters. The protagonist of this book is super confident detective. So self-assured that you could say they consider themselves, they consider everyone else to be beneath them. Alrighty, that's enough blah blah for now. I need to carefully research this little. The cat turns and flees like lightning. Oh, we ran away after it. Without another word, Kujar breaks into a run spring after the cat. Not again, we gotta catch up to her quickly. Or who knows what kind of wacky hijinks Grijaro will end up will get up this time. Grijaro not so fast. Uh, well the flink cat. I see it's run off because it's something important about what happened. Probably just run off because it's a cat. Get back here. Uh, see, Paimon said it was just an ordinary kitten. Uh, do you think that? Meow meow. Alright. Do you know of any Shuanwing beasts? Sorry, we got the wrong cat. Hmm. Is that a yes or a no? Or maybe. Cat turns and leaves looking frustrated. Still, do you think that this kitten could be. The young form of the mythical beast, lying low here in Chowin Village, till it is fully grown and can destroy all the tea trees in one fell swoop. Miss Gujaro, not this again. Anyway, I haven't told you before haven't I told you before that showing beasts are hardly that gentle? Uh, Miss Humfa, what a coincidence. Bring what brings you here today? Please stop mentioning things like criminal cases around here. What if the children begin to take you seriously? You'll know each other. Yes, when I came in here, it was this lady who I hired to help me carry my baggage. I also consulted her regarding all matters of folklore. If I've told you once, I've told you countless times that showing beasts won't appear here, but you just won't believe me. What was the thing you said? Even if they won't appear, I'll still have many ways to collect information on them. There you go again. I know my hopes of dissuading you were slim, but still, I must ask you not to leave the not to leave the village willy nilly. The beasts are actually quite dangerous, so if you do end up encountering one, anyway, please do not leave the village on your own. Confirm leaves, looking even more exhausting. 
Well, since Miss Hanfan says so, we're going to have to go elsewhere to get our material. Come then, follow me. No, she told you not to go alone. We're here now. So we can go find beasts. Skyward! Scatter! What do you think? This anticodron. That's right. It does something with the T. It makes it kind of special. Whatever the case, it's being placed smack dab in the middle of this place too. If you ask me, it must have some special significance. Now then, what if our Shonen Beast has been using this as its hiding place all along? You'll be writing a fantasy story at this rate, you know? I don't think this is a crime story anymore. Feels like the next thing you know, you introduce some depth into this story. I don't know if that's the right kind of plot to write for a crime story. It could be interesting. The word spirits in Phoenix Wright. Uh, those are some fine expressions you've got there. Are you thinking, perhaps, that a crime story centered around a shooting beast might feel too absurd to be taken seriously? Well, uh, yeah, kinda. Can you really use something like that to move the plot forward? Wait, don't tell me you are... Uh, aren't you a sharp one, you know? You sure do live up for, to your fame? Exactly, I think to write about a crime too absurd to be possible. Your reactions, along with Miss Hong Fans, are very interesting. I'll include them into my novel for sure. As for the Shonen Beast, I shall be my it shall be my perpetrator, a creature that has never been seen, but is said to devour the village's evil doers. During a certain festival, a villager is found to have met their end at the hands of some wild beasts outside the settlement. But during the second festival day, the main character encounters a vit victim who should be dead, only for yet another victim to soon emerge afterward. Wait, then what? Uh, then what? Well, I haven't thought that far yet. I'm leaving now. Come on, she's in the process of making a story. Oh, come on, once I finish, I'll send you two autographed copies for sure. In fact, I still got a big favor I'll need your help with. Miss Hung Fun has said that I shouldn't leave the village by myself, right? Well, I think her advice to heart. But now that you are here, I'm no longer alone. That means I can go outside. We're not going to go too far off, of course. So are you willing to help me out? Well, sure. We'll do this. We'll do it so you can tell us the end of the story. Please follow the standardized payment model. Thanks. No, the end of the story. Well then, let's head over there, shall we? There's a place I like to go. Speaking of that, I'm going to go after them. It's always saying weird spoke things. Don't worry, I usually charge my ideas down in a notebook. I don't know, after meeting you too, I just can't help but think my thoughts. I hate those dialogues. Just let me go to the next one. So, there are lanterns. These ones look like fish. How very fascinating. So, these handles can be used to raise the lanterns up. Mm, with this detachable uh, structure, someone with a head for engineering design can easily have a section or two secretly added without being discovered. This piece of thing is pretty large, you should be able to insert a few... Stop, jolly well keep those thoughts to yourself. Oh, right, sorry, I just can't stop myself from thinking aloud upon seeing these fascinating things. Uh, yes, I'm sure of it. In addition of lanterns, the addition of lanterns will add much to the novel. Could I trouble you to go to the side? and take a picture of the fish lantern for me. I'd like to have a reference picture for later. 
Well, time to hold my camera skills some more, I guess. I need a photo taking your hands, then I ah, yes. Please make sure to grab a shot of the entire lantern. This is incredibly important to me. Cooking up scheme related to dimensions will be quite interesting. The question now is how they will solve the weight problem. This scheme won't quite work with just these lanterns. What should I do? There. Uh, where did Grijar go? Wasn't she here just a moment ago? I guess she was kidnapped by swarming beasts. Uh, did her novel turn out to be truer than fiction? Hey, no say stuff like that. She probably just ran off somewhere, thinking about her plot line. Let's search the area. The thief field to the right give us good vantage point. Let's start from there. Good idea. Let's start a search from high up. Where is Gijar gone? Skyward, is she serving for her imaginates again? Can't find her. Oh. oh, it's not quite right. Something not quite right with her. What's wrong with her? Jar, how do you get over here? No, no, I can't have them find the key clue just like that. Also, can someone really still think well after being tied up here all night? Oh, she's totally engrossed. Has she finally found a breakthrough? More like a real roadblock. You know, Spymo, you've arrived just in time. Could you tie me <laughs> to a wooden stake? <laughs> did did Spymo hear that right? Yep, yeah, that's exactly what I said. Please tie my hands and string me up by them on a, a tree. Uh, well... They're all wood anyway, so it should make no difference. I don't intend to become the suspect in your novel. Oh, don't worry, I've already written up a liability document, which assigns responsibility for all mishaps that might occur to me. No, no, that's not the problem. Why do you want us to tie you up, like, at all? You haven't done anything wrong. But the main character of my novel will be strung up by their hands by the villagers, and left in the wild for a whole night, awaiting the Shwanwing Beast's judgement. Later in the plot, the main character, having expected this turn of events, will somehow survive and endure the night before revealing the truth behind everything. However, I have no clue how a person who has been tied up for a whole night would feel, nor how they, how they sound, think, or even move. That's why I need you to tie me up and keep me here for the whole night. The way I'll be able to experience those feelings for myself. No, this way too dangerous. Isn't there a safer way to do this? Come on, this won't really be dangerous. We'll keep guard, won't we? No, uh, well, there is, uh, but probably wouldn't be as effective. Instead of that, I could raise my hands up and stay here for the whole night. Or I could just not write the novel. Our actions here could easily could be easily misunderstood. You're really putting your main character through the ringer. Please, this is the most important step. Once I get over this hurdle, my novel will be complete. If we use these methods, you won't have to commit any crimes. Not that we ever had to. Uh, I'm not remembering specifics, but I'm pretty sure we did commit minor crimes. We never had to in the first place. Well, I mean, you really don't have to do all that much. Just stand guard by my side so that I won't be dragged off by someone or some animal while I gather the information I need. Let me see. Considering the atmosphere we're trying to create in the novel, we still need to go further up. Uh, hey, wait for us. You and Gujar climbing the highest point in field. Uh, it's kind of cold, but it really gets into the mood of things. They're really going to stay here the whole night with your hands upraised. 
That's right, I've decided to do this. Some sacrifice must be made for the sake of writing. But when you are hanging, you don't know using your muscles to keep your arms up. Well, please, stand guard here in the meantime. Just one night, just one night. Uh, well, shouldn't she keep her arms up? Let me think, how exactly should I raise my hands? Mm. No, uh, wait till six. Well, <laughs> don't think the character will be able to return to the village alone like this. Gujaro, let's help her up first. We'll help Gujaro up so she's sitting properly on the ground. So that's how it feels. It's quite awful indeed. Not only am I exhausted, I feel like even my mind's got it all sluggish. It's shown accomplished then. Of course, I finally know how it feels to be tied, strung up, and left to the enemies for a night. Not really. Uh, the protagonist of yours is pretty tough. That's right, I've also figured out how the protagonist is going to chase the shining beast away. If you conclude the story that way, you surely, surely... Oh, are they going to pull off super cool trick? You surely be really awesome. Gujar faints once again. Hey Gujar, you couldn't have said how this would work before fainting. Anyway, let's get her to a doctor, back to the village. Miss Fun was right, this lady really shouldn't have left the village. Did we let leave the village? Uh, I, I completed, I don't have to take her to a doctor or anything. Okay, let's unmark the one. Uh, let's check this one. Mm -hmm. Here. Uh. Yeah, skyward, scatter. Too much. Hydrologist. Volume. Uh, the flow of water is good, and the conditions of the waters in the surrounding areas are quite satisfactory as well. This is great. I should still keep an eye on the surrounding soil environment, though. Looks like I have to place a few more instruments. Did something happen here? Oh, are you the traveler? Could you spare a moment? I could really use a favor from you. Please allow me to introduce myself first. I'm Molio, a hydrologist. I'm currently conducting some investigations in Chenyu Vale for research purposes. What would a hydrologist need to keep an eye on the soil environment? That's a very good question. In sh the short answer is that the study of hydrology concerns more than just the movement of water. The mountainous terrain, the flow of the streams, the geology of the land, the weather of the area, and even the daily lives of the human residents who called this place their home, they all affect the hydrology of the veil. Paimo can say she really understands, but that definitely sounds super complicated. It is indeed quite complicated, still conducting research here is far easier than conducting research in Fontaine. Are you from? You're not from Fontaine. I kept running into all kinds of problems trying to place even a single hydrology device on Fontaine. They get attacked by the aquatic wildlife one day bees and be swept away by the currents the next. And it's not and that's not even going into all those underwater mechanical things that Arkham knows who play is down there. Um just remembering all this is giving me a headache. So, about a favor you'd like to ask of us? 
Uh, that, well, it's really a small thing. I'd like to request that you help me place these monitoring instruments on the mountain. Kinda like the thing wrong spine. I just have ordered these mechanical instruments from Fontaine. Once placed, they will continuously bore down through the earth until they've obtained the deep soil samples that I require. With those samples, I'll be able to measure the influence of the local hydrology has had on the soil quality of the nearby mountains. That sounds straightforward enough. It's been a while since you got such a simple commission. If that's what you think. I've been meaning to hire a few adventurers for the task, but no one has accepted my commission so far, and I've heard that there are a lot of treasure hoarders in the area. Uh, shouldn't... Yeah, actually, most of those quests, shouldn't we be able to find them with uh, Catherine? But judging from your looks, you're not at all scared of those bullies, are you? Just leave it to me. If they're smart, they should be scared of me. Then I leave the placement of the instruments to you. All you need to do is place them in a the nearby hill. I still need to stay here and to adjust some more instruments. Just come back to me once you place the batch I've given you that I've given you. Alright. The does sound simple enough. Yeah. Skyward. Scatter. Oh. I don't look down. It's so high up here. You float. Let's just get out of here once we replace the instruments. You float and you've climbed way higher places than that. And where's the instrument? Come on, couldn't it be that beacon yeah. that we placed on, on Dragon Spine? Yeah. That'll be fine. Yeah. Uh, where? Huh. Uh, what this place do? Oh well, let's just trust that this vice will do the, its job. Uh, should be now. Let's go back. Find. There's no time to read those three lines. I'd say this is more dangerous in there. If you fell there, yeah. there's Coward. water down there. Uh, these adjustments are to do it. Uh, have you placed the instruments already? Thank you so much. Shouldn't there be treasure hoarders? Once I'm done placing this one, I'll give you a reward. You could have just given it to me alongside the rest of the batch. Thank you for your kindness. Unfortunately, this instrument is somewhat special. It requires some additional adjustments and calibrating. And I wouldn't want to trouble you that much. Let's go to that cliff over there and place it. Then I'll give you a reward. You didn't really need me to go so near. That sounds really hard. Have you always worked like this? Uh, at least now, I only need to place my instrument down on the ground. In a previous expedition, I actually had to figure a way to place one in the middle of a raging river. Couldn't you, you just take a boat over there? I mean, if all I needed to do was drop the instrument, then sure. I could have just taken a boat, dropped it in the middle of the river and left. But I was trying to measure the intensity of the water flow. So I had to keep that specialized instrument stationary in the heart of the stream so that it would neither float to the top nor sink to the bottom. Thankfully, there was a drone bridge above the river. Uh, had there not been a bridge, I had, I'd have had to... As some some people have me draw a rope between the two mountains, and then hang the device on one of the ropes before using another rope to move it to the center of the river and drop in the water. Anyway, there's no point talking about it about that now. It's not like that's something we'll have to deal with. 
that said, we still pass by drawbridge on our way to our destination. On this way, the drawbridge isn't far from here. Uh, it should be over this way. The scenery here is quite excellent, so you can, uh, even professional photographers will have known to come all the way here to for sharp scenery. You'll be able to get a great view of the surrounding vistas. Yeah, nothing was stopping her from going there or for going up here. There was really no point. Okay, now she need me, but not for that. Yeah, skyward, scatter. Chasing away treasure hoarders, bringing people they cornered. Uh, thank you. I really don't know how to express my gratitude. You are Miss Q. We know her. Miss Chin. Uh, Chowing. Yeah, Miss Chu. Uh, it's you, Ignus. Well, thanks for running into you again. This is really. This is the second time that you've done me such a huge favor. Who are you? Ah, oh, you guys are photographers. Weren't you guys in Fontaine learning how to shoot a film? Ah, how are you already back in Liwe? Have already mastered the art of filmmaking? Well, rather than that, uh, it'd probably be more accurate to say we've been forced to make some quick more first. You too. Mr. Geisert is indeed a master filmmaker and he's given us a lot of very useful advice. However, the films that he's helped us should have all really focused on big ideas and themes. As for the actual plot or the world and things that were, intent were intended to be featured, they kind of, in Mr. Geisert's words, they were left behind the scenes. But we had looked into filmmaking in the first place to create a film that could bring attention to Chenyu Veil's excellent tease. I was that. Uh, if we had stayed with Mr. Geistert, we would have gone nowhere. So, so I made this active decision to put a pause in our studies and come back to shoot a documentary. We will use this opportunity to put our knowledge to the test. Well, and because we just about run out of funds. Hey, haven't I told you about my plans already? As long as this documentary becomes a smash hit, we'll make our investment back in no time. Well, and then we found ourselves cornered by treasure hoarders on the drawbridge. Thankfully, the great Ignus came to save us. Isn't this place a bit far from Charon Village? It is? Why are you here if you want to photograph Cherry Village? Well, I wanted to get some majestic shots of the scenery from so the so the film will look a bit more imposing. They could be on their way there. But we gotta be too distracted while shooting and caught the attention of those treasure hoarders. We fled all the way here, but we were still cornered by them in the end. Wait, so the pro photographers what you mentioned earlier were... Uh, yeah, they were Miss Chin, Miss Chu and her assistants. Oh, where did you suddenly just pop up from, Miss you? I swear I didn't see you at all before now. I just hear myself very well, so we already know each other. We just said that she mentioned her? I mean, Miss Wolio is an expert in hydrologist. No one knows these lanes better than her. 
We've consulted her several times before this on the best place to shoot. We even tried to get her to join us, but she said that she could only consider once she's finished with her work. Boss, uh, while we were running away earlier, we seem to have uh, left the case containing our filming equipment on the ground. I think all the work we've done so far is that case. So, there's a commission. It's all you, Inus Paimon, thank you for everything. When you are next free, please find me in Chowin Village. After all, you've saved our lives, so we've got to prepare a reward in return. But for now, we must be off oh, in a way. Hurry, where do you leave that box? We need to go back for it. Miss Chu and her sister leave in a great hurry. The film case sure has gone through a lot. They say the good things often come to an end at the often come at the end of many tribulations. I'm sure Miss Chu's film will turn out to be a hit. Anyway, let me give you a reward. I'll, pl I'll go place my final instrument shortly and then probably go check on Miss Chu to see how she's doing. And I got to find her fast or she'll probably be off Arco knows where again shooting her film. Uh, I suppose she did just say that she can be found in Chiu village. I'll just go check that out later. Uh, we don't know where she placed the device. We not sure where Miss Chu is. I hope Miss Chu will be able to show the film of her dreams while ensuring her personal safety. Okay, so that's the next part of the quest, so that works. shouldn't have grabbed the Chain village shots first after all. Is everything okay? Looks like it didn't lose any equipment at least. We can see any equipment now. Ah, Inus Spymo. Thanks to you, we were able to save all our stuff. I suppose though, that if we were to ever return to that area in the future, we shall have to bring a few adventures with us. So, uh, about your feature film on T, how is the shooting for that going? Well, we've currently got a good opening sequence and a good artistic vision. So we haven't shot much at all. Well, see, we're currently a little short on money. As a master filmmaker, Mr. Geister's intuition doesn't exactly come cheap. Even though We've already shot a few smaller films and made some more from that. A feature film of this length just burns through your budget as if it's nothing. Especially since the boss has turned down a few potential sponsors. They refused many invitations to collaborate. Hey, what do you two know? This was all the, so that we can create an excellent film that reflects our standards and our vision. But boss, didn't we start this film comedy because we wanted to make money? I uh, stop worrying about that for now. Just go and set up the equipment. Inus, this reward. Thank you for always lending me your support. Once I made the film of my dreams, I'll be sure to invite you over for the premiere. And then also thank you all for tea. Ifen uh, Shinge. Make sure you get the best angle for lightning. We're gonna get this in one take. You hear me? But boss, we don't even have any actors here with us. Isn't it all up to chance whether or not we can grab a scenery shot in one take? Just hurry up and set up the equipment. And then wait here. 
Oh, we've been actors before. Well, it's just how long we're going to wait here. We've been shooting for such a long time already. Boss, I really feel like Lux not on our side today regarding the shot. Just wait a little more. Just a little more. Alright, so... Next quest. Uh, the leech. There's one there on the bridge. Yes, because of the marker. So, find you. Uh, are you here to take part on the, in the Archenio Veil Track Scenic Photograph Contest? Scenic Photograph Contest? What's that? It's exactly what its name implies. It's a contest designed to promote the beautiful scenery of Archenio Veil. We previously surveyed the Vale's residents to collect opinions regarding its most captivating scenic spots. Now we're testing contestants with going to and capture image, images of said locations using their, their cameras. Lastly, we'll pick out a handful of exceptional ones to use as promotional examples, which will be exhibited on the street outside as a post. It, it will be there for good. Well, how about it, you two? I'm a practical person, what prizes are up for grabs? Great, there's no one better at photography than I. I mean, having any change in the world that we did already feels like a decent prize. You look like you just can't wait to begin snapping some shots. Allow me to add that if you work are chosen and there will be a special surprise just for you well a surprise we better give it our all then uh, we're still preparing a little reward for you and for your time and efforts even if your work isn't selected you hope it will be to your satisfaction where do i start now look at this guide these are the residents who recommend scenic spots of chenyo veil oh uh what we say the best thing attraction in Chenyo Vale is. It's gotta be my hometown, Xiaoyuan Village. Not only are the sites amazing, but the animals they're super cute. I recommend going in the afternoon. Location has been crossed out. Uh, Jade Mouth. A life lived without visiting it surely is surely one with regrets. Especially the gemstone orb. When you look at it in the morning, it's like a moon that has yet that has yet to set. And the lotus pond next to the ancient tea tree king may not be that famous, but I find it to have serene beauty at night. You just have to be careful of the monsters nearby. That's me. It's gonna be Mount Shonlian, right? You rarely see such strange mountains anywhere else, and sunset there is truly moving. There are other locations written in the guide, but they've also been crossed out. Uh, why are some of the locations crossed out? And that's because the locations have been fully signed up for. We are hoping to provide a more comprehensive display of Chinese Vale's beauty. These four remaining locations are still available for registration, you can select one or more of them. I'm guessing now, you know how about we sign up for all the remaining locations? If our chance of winning the prize is 1 in 4, then we are guaranteed to win if we take 4 photos. This way, the surprise will be ours for sure. Nice math. That's not how probability works. Really, but isn't 1 quarter multiplied by 4 equal to 1? It is, but... And what are we waiting for then? 
Uh, let's get going. That surprise of ours is for the tick. Let's get that. And... They're all marked. Uh, Alright, let's... This is in the night. I should check that again. Yeah. Got her. That's a shame. So it's circle and big mouth. It's a good spot for a photo. Uh, but that's what they want. Just time. Ah, oh, he even tells me the time. Uh, hang on. I'll just say again. Between 8 and 10. But this wasn't. This was in the morning, was it? No, it's not here. Uh, I got those, but I'm not sure where I have to use them. Where is the thing I got? Ah, here. Uh, in the morning. It's like a moon has that center. Okay, I thought this one was the one at night. Oh, it is already. So just... Do I have to actually take a picture here? Turn to chain mouth. That's it? Yeah. Uh... The locust pole. Drop your weapons. Justice will prevail. <laughs> Many happy returns. <laughs> Sorry, pal. So Time for a light show. Okay, now, uh, what was the time here? It's 19. Fireworks are for now. Mm -hmm. Friends are forever. Uh, the lots of spawn, not the tree. Why not take a picture of the tree? Mm, let's spawn beneath the moon. Village. Mm -hmm. Yeah, skyward. Where am I supposed to stay? There's really, really bird, or they call peckons or something. They put both join village. Really. Okay, but yeah. where from? Wait, what? Ah, uh, I had to go there. Is this pelican here yours, kid? Can we photograph it alongside your village? What? And what are you saying? It's pelican talk, which means great, great. You speak pelican. Only a little, because I notice when they eat, they don't stop going. I'm sure they're happily saying that it's great, great. 
So I learned to call to them in the minute two. They come over as soon as they hear, probably because they think there's food. If we're gonna photograph one, then maybe you could try calling out one yourself. It's you better go get home now, otherwise I could teach you some more. No worries, Kiro, we'll try it ourselves. Thanks and get home safely. Let's give it a go over there. If you can track the pelican, you increase our works chance for of success. There was a pelican here already. Oh, for pelicans. I had to make quack quack, paimon quack quack. Oh, is there any, <laughs> any tasty? It's not messing around, paimon remembers. There's a new paimon remembers starting with rain rain. Uh, there's pelican company. Let's take a picture. Uh, that one? The secrets oh. of the mechanical arts are too prof to convey in a few simple words oh. oh but why must the listener grow weary whenever 15 begin to divulge them <clears throat> Uh, that. Okay, guess I'm trying. Here on the vanish. Okay, no last one. Uh, what was it again? Ah, uh, the mountain is there. Oh, that's a bit low. Uh, I think we faster should come from here, then should climb that. Busy. Stop right there. Change. Make way for the attack. You asked for it. Feel the light. Hang on, don't come any closer. Are you are you good people? We just kill a bunch of creatures and you were calling for help. Hey, we're the ones who saved you just now. Or did you hit your head or something? Oh, you're alright. I'm really sorry about that. My chain veil track has been nothing but this, this in your, this in bad luck. Uh, thank you. So, you're participating in the photograph contest too? Are you as well? What a coincidence. I'm just an ordinary tourist though, so I couldn't do anything about those features. I came across these louts on the road and they captured and brought me back here without letting me get a word of in lengthwise. Hilichos also don't collect tools, do they? Press posterous. Luckily I ran to you guys. Uh, today was a tough day for you indeed. Not just today, yesterday was terrible as well. I brought a rather expensive camera from a fountain merchant. But it broke after only a few uses. When I went back to find him, he was gone. What a shady guy. Be sure to keep an eye on your wallet while you're out and about. I'm sorry. I got a little sidetracked there. Since you are also taking part in the competition, you must be here to photograph Mount Shonlion, right? Correct? 
uh, was say I share the best photograph spot that I found around here with you as thanks. Here, I'll mark it on your map for you. You can see from here. In fact, it's right over there. Uh, what about you then? Aren't you participating in the contest as well? This area is rather dangerous, so it's it'd be best for me to switch things up. I remember the guy spoke of other locations. I think you should check out the tea tasting adeptus. Uh, that sounds good. Goodbye, you too. Hopefully, things will start turning out well for me now. Yeah. This is a great angle. Uh, what time? 17. Ah. Hey, hey, Pomo, took a look at the photos we got. Uh, we got them all. Being your participant is hard work as us, with there. If you are presently unoccupied, perhaps we. Alright, so back there. Seeing how relaxed you look, I suppose you must, have, must be here to submit your photos. Just leave them with me. Uh, not bad at all. You must have put a lot of work to capture such beautiful scenes. Well done. Oh, submit, submit, submit. Can I select them all? No. Hmm, these photos. What's wrong? Ours not good enough? It's quite the opposite. I've seen some excellent submissions these past few days, but your works are refreshingly all the same. Let's take this shot of Charming Village. The pelican adds a touch of liveliness to the tranquil village, contra contrasting stillness and movement. A one of a kind approach indeed. If it were just up to me, your works would certainly be selected for use. Wow, what a compliment. You're making Paimon blush a little. Blush? You're not the one who took the f these photos. <laughs> I'm starting to feel a little embarrassed now, too. Paimon's just feeling flattered on your behalf. Paimon knows all about your modesty. Well, in any case, our selection process will be completed before tomorrow morning. From 8 in the morning until 6 at night, we will exhibit these selected works on the street outside Hence her pose. Yes, hey. Thank you for participating in the Art Chain of Veil track seeing photograph contest. Don't forget to come back around tomorrow. You bet, we're not gonna miss out on the final surprise. To 8 the next day. But then be for a single day? I thought this would be a permanent thing on the streets. <laughs> Where? Oh. Yeah, this could be a permanent thing. Ah, you've made it. You have seen the executive works. A total of eight works have been selected for this iteration of our chain of view track, and half of those are yours. Congratulations! Oh, that's awesome. See, Inus Pamela was right about getting four out of four. Pamela's math skills really are something. It's four out of eight, actually. 
Oh, quite a magnetician, aren't we? Uh, the judges also showed great appreciation for your other works, your other two works, much like I said yesterday. And so, please take this limited edition Art Channel of Track commemorative photo album. It features all the contest selected works. You have earned it. This was a surprise. Oh, it looks amazing. Oh. Yellow above the wharf. Ah, oh, the ancient tea tree king. Shen you miss the clouds. Tea tasting adeptus. Eight hours. Alright. Uh, if it's alright with you, I also have some more for you. Why wouldn't it be alright with me? Please take it. I'd like to thank you again for participating. This time on a personal level. This is my hometown, and you have forever captured the beauty of this place. These works will surely cause more people to fall in love with it. Thank you. Alright, that was, that was nice. Uh, next. Uh, map. Oh yeah, there's one there. Hey, they even closed already. Yeah, bro. From what she said, this wouldn't be permanently there, but it would be nice if they. Yeah. Skyward. Wang the third. How is you two? Mm, what is? People call him the Cloud Piercing Arrow. Uh, I behold your immaculate appearance, with eyes as bright as shining stars. And know for and know from this one glance that you nobly wander this land. Therefore, pray tea tarry a while as I make as I make so bold a request your good name. Not bad, you've got a good eye for some old guy. <laughs> Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? Good eye for an old guy. Huh, your breathtaking confidence is a rarity. I have certainly not erred. What in the world are you banging on about? You too, Ignis. Don't let a few compliments go to your head. Uh, anyway, Paimon's at your service. He's Ignis, and you are? And uh, yes, where are my manners? Huang the Third of the Guhua clan. Hmm. At your service. Some people know me as a cloud piercing arrow. Of piercing arrow, so you're a talented archer. Huh. It was just a moniker bestowed on me in my youth. Pay no mind. Uh, so you're Huang the third, the one they call the cloud piercing arrow. Hey, don't tell Paimon you've heard of this guy. Wait a minute, did you just say Kuhua clan? Oh, are you familiar with our clan's name? It rings a bell. No, where did I hear about it? It rings a bell. Excellent, excellent. I thought the clan's fortunes had waned so much that its name was now all but forgotten. I did not expect you to be so well informed. To be frank, I approached you because I am inviting select interested parties to visit Wangsheng Hao Hall, our clan's stronghold, and explore history itself. That sounds like a long quest. You have nowhere pressing to be. Now, how about coming with me to see the hall? I promise you won't be disappointed. You're turning your stronghold into a tourist attraction. <laughs> I'm not at all interested. Uh, uh, well, our disciples have scattered all over Liyue. As the hall is currently deserted, what better time to invest ge invite guests? What's more, it contains treasures never before seen. Haven't you guys seen the treasures? Uh, and treasures? I don't suppose we're supposed to just grab them. Uh, quite so, Grandmaster Guhua secretly established 12 secret chambers within the hall upon the clan's founding, in which he placed treasures now lost to the world. Oh, so even you guys can get it? 
Wen Sheng Hall is hewn from the mountain stone itself, and its structures and its structure is complex, complex and intricate. Over millennia, only a handful of these hidden chambers have been discovered. The locations of many others are unknown, even to us disciples. Disciples. I see something special about you. Perchance you might stumble across one of the great master's school's uh, hidden chambers during your visit to this historical site. This has to be a game to suck your thirst in. Surely no one could fall for this. Those secret chambers? For real? You gotta see this. You know, uh, those secret Guho clean treasures. Hey, what's the look? Aren't you tempted at all? We'll be rich if finding that forgotten treasure. Well, he, have, but he hasn't asked for a toll to enter there. Uh, never mind, Spymon. Isn't Shinchu a member of the Guha clan? Maybe he was trained there. Fine then, lead the way, Paimon. Awesome. Paimon just knew that you'd be interested. Hang on, how much? There was a Shinchu hangout, wasn't there? You'd be interested to check around this place with him. Hang on, how much does it cost to tour Wang Sheng Hall? Cost? Huh, surely you jest. We are honorable disciples of the Guhua clan, and only wish to invite those of character to come visit. We're not a brash, swindling charlatans. I'm not asking for a penny. How about it then? Would you care to proceed to Wang Sheng Hall and explore our illustrious history? Great. That's just what I was thinking. Since it's free, we might as well go take a look. I certainly are direct. Wonderful. Uh, without further ado, I'll just go plan a sightseeing route for you both. For you both. Please simply follow the map straight to Wang Shan Hall. One third takes his leave. Great. Well, let's go soon, Venus. Pamu can wait. Am I supposed to follow the path or can I just teleport there? Ah, it's the other quest I marked. Okay. So, why was it marked as another quest on the map if it's part of the same. Ah, maybe there will be another quest that we start yeah. here afterwards. Skyward. Got her. That's pretty. Hmm. Wayne the fourth. Oh, he's a bit younger. Uh, now, how can you take these antiques out without maintaining them? What if? Hey, you don't get it. If I did that, the, and people saw that the paint was new, would they still be willing to come play? I mean, come train. The sense of history is. What am I call it? Hey. And now. And anyway, the two of us don't have much spare cash. Okay, they just, they already spoiled. They are trying to calm me. Oh, welcome. I see you made it to our stronghold, Wanshan Hall. Mm. Uh, who's this? Uh, no, worry not. This is my junior brother, known in our circles as Wayne the Fourth, and by the people as this no striding sword. Actually, no, they should have the same name to be one following the other. He's the third Huang, not just the third in line. Um, welcome, welcome. However, Wan Shang Hao is, in the end, very important to us. Custom dictates, therefore, the outsiders who wish to enter must first pass two trials. Put another way, we first wish to see how skilled you are. Uh, don't let this meet us. It's so troublesome. Come on, we can be real ass with this guy. He hasn't really been mean to us or anything. Well, looks just look what Gullible Fish just got on the hook. 
Of course, of course. The, these two tests will certainly be a walk in the park for your illustrious selves. Uh, it's just that these are the rules of our clan, and we, we can't simply change them arbitrarily. Please forgive me. Ooh, nothing for it. We do want the treasure from those 12 secret chambers. 12 secret chambers, huh? I told these guests a lot. Did you count those chambers specifically? Whatever, go on, go on. So, what exactly do I need to do? It's very simple, please follow me. Okay, you okay? Tell me about the trials. Outsiders who seek to enter one Shang Hall must pass two trials. This rule has existed since ancient times. However, forget it. If my senior thinks it's alright, then I have nothing to say about it. Anyway, there's nothing to worry about. Anyone can pass the trials as they are right now. What do you mean? You understand so enough. Go on, don't let me keep you. My senior is, just, is waiting. Behold the Plum Watcher piles passed down by Grand Master Guha himself. It was upon these stones that Grand Master Guha practiced back in the day, diligently cultivating the technique to become a true master. Over there, the ancient trees were also planted by your our founder's hands. Wow, they are all at crazy angles, and some are even broken in half. It's probably due to years of disrespect and neglect. Uh, of course not. It's merely to increase the difficulty of the training. Nothing more. After all, there, will, there won't be neat stone piles to step on in the real battle, will there? Nobody will step on one of these things in a real fight either. In any case, for the first trial, I ask that you step on the stone piles in... The order I specify within the allotted time, Venus. Show me what you've got. Piece of cake. Alright then, you're up, Venus. What's the order? Oh, I already start here. And it's <laughs> extraordinary extraordinary hero. Oh, no, uh, uh, in the drink, that didn't count. There are no do overs in life, young hero, for not. Okay. <laughs> then I thought we'll return to the beginning. Okay. Wins are okay. I feel. I felt because I wasn't looking. Uh, it's not because the spells are too damn slippery. Yeah, I wasn't looking. Such external technique, you move with remarkable finesse, like a swallowing flight. Such unparalleled grace is truly worth of a hero. I can get confused because I fell, but it was an accident that I fell. The game didn't push me, did it? I think it was my mistake. What are you talking about? He just fell right into the water. Good thing he can swim. Uh, looks like you still have much to learn about traditional martial arts, child. Huh? You see, this trial is meant to test visitors against these stone piles. But how could a few stone piles gauge the limits of your extraordinary techniques? Doubtless, you intentionally went off the beaten path and dropped in the water to display your true skill. You fell exactly above the array score. And you swam back ashore, you perfectly undid said array. And others may not understand these profundities, but how could it ever escape me? The clock piercing arrow. You're wise, right, are you for real? With that, let me congratulate you on acing in the first trial, Enus. For the second trial, we must proceed to the practice arena. Please come with me. I won't lose. No, but didn't win either. Yeah, the whole talk was about my mistake. 
Behold, our practice arena. Back then, the reputation of the Guha clan was known for how Liu it. But what was it based on? It was based on the spear and sword skills developed right here. The dual master of polar army sword are, we are known for is a result of Ardu's practice day after day. There's nobody here. Well, he said everybody's scattered across Liu it. And we know they are where nowadays. This where Shinji used to train then. Yeah, this is the second trial, the trial of Spear and Sword. Just one moment while I get the training equipment out. On the third procedure, which does bamboo dummies. See if I'm exhausted. Okay, anyway, would you please display your skills on these dummies? Sure, but what exactly do I do? Surely let's by me to knock all these dummies down in two seconds flat or something. Uh, surely, Jess, who could train in such a ludicrous fashion? Take a look. Some of the dummies are dressed in blue, while others are dressed in red. The battlefield may turn on a dime. You must be able to distinguish frame from foe to clear this trial, defeat all the dummies dressed in red within a lot of time. If you strike a dummy dressed in blue, you lose. Stay alert, Ignus. Yeah, now that I failed the previous one, I kind of want to fail this one as well. Oh, Parmon gets it. He has to attack the dummies in red without hitting a single dummy in blue. Single. Simple. Behold my power. Can you repeat that, Paimo? Let's see, Paimo thinks he's saying you only hit the ones in blue, right? <laughs> I, she, but you can't hit any of the ones in red. You got a wrong way around. You must attack all the dummies in dre dressed in red without hitting a single one dressed in blue. Oh, I see. The second trial is a tongue twister. Uh, it really isn't. Even though Paimon was a little confused, at least just hit all the dummies in, of one color, which is red, probably. Okay, let's start with all the blue ones. Hit. Wait, was red or blue should hit? Let me think for a moment. There. I'm a... Okay, I can completely fail because the other one vanished. I'm an evil doer. I kinda like to try them both twice to make it right now. Oh, we accidentally hit one. One of those dummies in blue. And there goes the stage and treasure with it. That didn't count. Again. <laughs> it's all because this platform is too dang slippery. Yeah. Amazing. You saw through such a meticulous disguise a single glance. Huh? Dummies in blue wings just here were the spies hanging among us. All of them. There were no us among us just spies how could you tell don't you underestimate don't you understand little one as they say you never know what lurks on the inside how could they be distinguished by appearance alone yet you know so through their appearance and peer into their very nature such perception truly is the pinnacle of skill exactly are you even listening to yourself right now Anyway, as you've passed two trials, you've naturally earned the right to visit Wanshan Hall. Please come with me. Uh, that's a pass. Well, as long as it gets us in, look out treasures of Guhua, cause here we come. That was fun. Yeah. Skyward. Scatter. So, do you see? We were amazing. Everything as about Goa Club, feel free to ask me. As for what my senior said, don't believe everything he says. Tell me about Wanshan Hall. Wanshan Hall is the main house of the Guha clan where Grandmaster Guha attained enlightenment. Now it is in ruins and unusable. 
Elizabeth. Besides my senior and I, no one else remains to guard this place. Maybe our current master merely visits occasionally. Who is the current master? So, what's the current star? History? The Guha clan was once known as the Guha Brotherhood. We looked up to the chivalry of Grand Master Guho and traveled the world with our swords and spears. Our mastery of both was known to all. Uh, one time has, as time passed, the clan's glory was no more. Mastery over spear and sword. Exactly. The Guho clan has three ultimate techniques. Life Piercer, Rank Cutter and Life Ender. The three were known as the three Guho Greats. Life Ender is a unique fusion of sword and spear, and it is why the Guha clan is known to have master over both. It is said that Life Ender could slice winds, split waves, and destroy mountains. Unfortunately, I never had a chance to witness it for myself. Later on, during the time of the 11th master, Inmin, the one known as the Piercing Blade, uh, felt the these techniques were too difficult to master and unsuitable for widespread study. Slight modifications were made to develop a new set of entry-level techniques. And the outcome of that was few were willing to give up the easily attainable for hard work and fewer and fewer were willing to meditate and spend decades on the original teachings of Grand Master Kuhua. As time flashed by, her three ultimate techniques gradually became legendary, yet their power was ever weakening. Our clan's vigor wound up declining and faith in it was lost. A shame, a shame indeed. This guy seems alright. Tell me about the Guho clan, I want you to take a look at Kushan Hall. Uh, Grandmaster Guho was our founder, but not the clan's first master. Huh? How? How? The Grandmaster was a wandering hero who brought peace and justice to the people while traveling the world. He never intended to start a clan. This place wasn't always known as Wangsheng Hall. Uh, instead being known as the Lingmen Chamber. After the Grandmaster passed away, Wangsheng better known as Master Bai Xuan, who once received his favor, established the Guhua Brotherhood uh, in his name and called himself a disciple of Guhua to carry on the Grand Master's legacy. So they were a self-proclaimed disciple. Indeed, the Grand Master never took one. Unfortunately, the glory of the clan faded with time. We disciples of future generations failed the clan now we no longer seek to restore the clan's glory, merely uphold justice and live up to the Great Master's name. And that's why the disciples of the Guha clan are spread all over Liyue. Exactly, after all, there are places in the world where the sun doesn't shine and we cannot leave anything, everything to Rex Lapis. Have you heard that he's dead? Um, but my only consolation is a promising junior, Xingqiu, ah, you know him. If he can restore former glory, then we of the older generation can die without regrets. Man, it would be nice a storyline that makes him the new master. Open doors. Ooh. Oh, I thought it would go all the way. Uh -huh. Cool, cool. What's that? Huh. Yeah, I don't think I've seen more of those around here. Behold, the lifeblood of our clan for a millennium, Wangsheng Hall. Wow. Is this really it? It looks like seen better days. No, it looks nice. 
when Grand Master Kuhua founded our clan, this was the place of untold majesty, where great heroes from all over gathered in merriment and endless song. The guy just said that Master Kuhua didn't was a wanderer. Even the realm of the Adepti pales in comparison to Wangshan Hall. Hmm. Uh, speaking of which, what does the name mean anyway? Huh, I'll tell you. Legend has it that when Grandmaster Guhua wandered the world, he sort to find all bandits, and the countryside boasted of being as peaceful as the city. The mountain thieves were as frightened of Guhua as they were tigers. The tiger is king over the beasts. Isn't that a lion? And thus did the locals wander the locals under the Grand Master's protection called this place Wangsheng Hall, a respect of his supremacy over the mountain. Okay, but it didn't really explain. I thought she meant what Wangsheng means. Uh, see, when you have been called something like Mighty Tiger Mountain, then that's super weird. Wangsheng Hall sounds way cooler. But I don't know what the word means. Anyway, for a thousand years since then, the Guha clan has tirelessly honed its martial arts techniques here. On this place into the ground more like. Come on, you don't have to be such an ass. Come, I'll show you around. Follow me around the Guha sword honey stone. And in skip rice peel, maybe we'll find some clues concerning the treasures. For the third way we're walking, how embarrassing. Anyway, this will go her clan's secret movement techniques. Sorry, solo. Just I wonder to ask, are shaking like a leaf? Oh, there was no time to read the rest. Yeah, his walk can be weird, but I'm not sure I've ever seen an old person walking in this game. Behold, this is the Arsenal Wangshan Spear Swords, Halberds, anything you can think of. You'll find it here. Anything and everything. Which one? Which goes to the next location? As some other sites. Only a few shield spears remaining. I can talk to him to move anytime I want. Let's check it out first. Zappons on the rag, there rust beyond recognition. Dilapidated wooden rag, all kinds of rusty spears. Yeah, but if the guys have access to this place, why don't they keep it clean and repaired? The guy outside seems to worry about its former glory. What do you think? Have seen enough this place? Shall I bring you to the next spot? So fast, let's take a look, let's look around. Sure, let's go. Oh, it's expanded of long staying martial arts clan. And let's look, even the pillars here have engraved with storm. Hmm. Oh. Okay, what's that? There is uh, seems to be a sensor here. And good eye, the memorial tablet for ancestor founder Guho is shining here. The master of the world, and only reason it has lasted a thousand years is because the world of Master's Vichers and remembers. Starting here to remind the future generation of a clan of the titular ancestors. Hmm. There is a small box, but one side the box. When you master this box, not something you should tamper with. You didn't... What was the rest of what you were saying? What a village empty fruit offered place, from of which offer... Here it's truly really wonderful. Oh! <laughs> was it supposed to just slide like that? Oh, I thought I could read that. Uh, should I? I don't know. Would I get something for King Each? Uh, 
Okay, nothing. No comment at all. <coughs> what do you think? I've seen another display, share mission next. Sure, let's go. Next one. Oh, that. Well, uh, why is this locked? This is the arcane archive where all the all the ancient mysteries and secrets of the Guha clan are hidden. So only our own disciples are allowed within. Is that so? This is as far as we go then. All right, that concludes our tour of Wangshan Hall. Uh, it's over already. What about the treasures? Uh, treasure isn't something you just randomly find. You know, in all these centuries, many disciples have sought out the Great Master's treasures, but none have succeeded. No, in that case, let's take another look around nearby. Not so fast. If you wish to continue exploring our clan's secrets, you must follow its rules with a show of good faith. Take Grand Master Guha, for example. In his time, the disciples wished to master experience sword, also had to pay tuition. Okay, now is the con. You wasted all that time, and now is the con. We're not disciples, what she said. We agreed there'd be no fee. I almost never heard of Guha clan cheating people of the Mora either. That's... We're not cheating people of anything. Uh, we don't need Mora exactly, but rules are rules. In Grandmaster's Guha time, it wasn't Mora he accepted, but rice and salted meat. Okay, so I'll bring you rice and salt and meat. I can bring you salted meat. So, you want food, not money? Uh, fine, if you don't have Mora, you can just make me something to eat. That's what our predecessors did. As a great hero, surely it's, that's within your, your means. After all, we value a helping hand in times of need. It's all up to you, as long as it's from the heart. I have no intention of extorting you, Venus. I just wouldn't want you to have a guilty conscience. Uh, I am certainly a great hero of our times. And if my conscience is, conscience is clean... You, you, uh, you just want something to eat, don't you? We'll make you something to eat. Is uh, Paimon has an idea? What is it? You see, follow Paimon's lead. And suddenly, this is Paimon's idea. Not sure what leak they've prepared, but I'll just wait over here. Uh, didn't he say the Guha clan used to accept rice and salted meat? Then why don't you fulfill his wish and make him some salted meat? With rice. Signified by the thought, usually... Oh. It's supposed to be a solid dish, so it doesn't really matter how much salt we actually cover this thing with rice. Okay. Do we need a pot? Anyway, let's grill it first. Mm, time feels a little bad. Ruining perfect good food. No, no. It's too late to feel bad about it now. Uh, either way, it's all the guy's fault. Now it's time to add salt. Uh, Paimon will leave that to you. Mm, this might be a bit too much. Uh, what do you mean? Anyone's going a bit too far? When you beat the guy, he tricked us into coming here with the promise of treasure. And even want us to cook for him for free. Someone like that has to be taught a lesson. If he doesn't learn that, why he's doing? If he doesn't learn that what he's doing is wrong, he'll just continue to scam other people once we leave this place. Isn't that right, Ignus? Add a small pinch of salt. Mm, there's no need to be stingy. You can add more, like this. Add two pinches of salt. Now, now, okay. now, that's more like it. Keep going. Add three pinches. 
Match four pinches. And a proper amount of salt. Forget it, doing like this takes too long. Why don't you just dump all the rest of this stuff in? Alright, you're the boss. Then let's dump everything in. There was ore in there. I can cook ore here, like in Zelda. Oh, it's done. This is my most specially salted meat dish. Truly mouth watering. I sort of saw something strange get added in. Uh, it was probably nothing. Anyway, let's bring this to Juan the Third right away. Mm, I'm special. Oh. Oh, I can't see the recipe of foods like that, right? According to Juan the Third, when Grand Master Guha passed on his technique, he would accept rice, rice and salted meat as payment instead of more. Based on this anecdote, Pam put all her heart and salt into this super special dish. Alright. On the third, we're back. Oh, you sure? Quickly, Inus, in just the blink of an eye, you already prepared such a sumptuous dish. Ah, it's nothing. Suppose you could call it a sumptuous dish. Pam special. On the third takes a bite out of Paimon's special salted meat dish. Before his muscles have finished masticating the first mouthful, he has already pushed the plate of meat aside and made a mad dash to the nearby pond where he ingurgitates several large gulps of water. Uh, what is this? Nice moves. You're welcome. Uh, that's that's right. No wonder they call you the claw piercing arrow. One the third. We could barely keep up. Keep up. Wait, that's not the point. These are specially made salted meat dish. Are helping hand in times of need. This came from our hearts, just as you asked. You. Savage. I knew they were up to from the start. Not from the start. Back at the town, he was. Just inviting us to come here. When we arrived here, we knew what he was up to. We are planning to pull a fast one on us, as if we were under thirst, weren't you? That's right. In Paimon best that all the talk about the treasures was just a bump to burn a free meal. Do you really think can we outrun the millilith? Hold on a moment. Don't get the millilith involved, please. I'm a martial artist and a proper senior member of the Guha clan. If a man of my, uh, if a man my age went to a jail for scam thirst, I never outlive the shame of it. If you had any shame, you wouldn't have scammed anyone at all. Besides, I wasn't lying. There may not be twelve secret chambers in one shop hall, but the relic really does exist. We modern disciples just don't know where it is. What's the difference? Hmm. We're gonna tell the military that you are a mean old man who's deliberately swinging thirst, chilling them out of their food and... and... Okay, okay, I received a lot of thirst in my time here, but hardly any as honest as you two. How about this? To repay you for not reporting me to the authorities, I'll make an exception. I'll give you the key to the library. There are countless secret martial art book arts there are countless secret martial arts books in there. Surely they also count as treasures. The third produces a big set of keys. Uh, and these keys are. They're all the same. They're all spare keys to the library. What has so many spares? Uh, at my age, I'm afraid I'll lose them. Here, take this one. But if you lost one, wouldn't lose them all. That's right, wait a minute, we're, we're just threatening to report you, why are you suddenly giving us something so important? So we don't report him, he said that. True, especially if there are genuine secret stacks of the Guha clan. Aren't you worried we might actually be bad people? No. To be honest, the thirst from before Pei Mora, which I used to maintain the things buried here. Now that there's much left of the Guha clan now, 
the only ones left here who still have any desire to return and keep things running are a few of us old folks. It's just a shame. At our age, we have the will but not the strength. You just saw how run down this place is. The most we can do now is give the dust a pay. Uh, if we're Master Goho or still around, make sure he laughs at our powerlessness. Uh, Juan III. But the Goho clan's thousand year legacy can't just be buried along with us old folks, can it? Uh, I can tell that you are good people, and good people are hard to come by these days. Well, if Goho himself didn't took any disciples, and he didn't worry about teaching his arts to other people, he wouldn't really care if it was all forgotten. Your willingness to honor an old, uh, old fool like me brought some life back to this place. The way I see it, better these books be interested to you than left to rot in this place. I see. Uh, anyway, that's enough of this sentimental talk. Let's just say I'm giving the key to you so you won't report me. Enos, no, Mr. Enos, you may stay here as long as you like. As for the books in the library, take any that catch your eye. Help yourself, alright? Yeah. Also, the whole treasure thing is just turned out to be a hoax in the end. I'm almost really mad now. Which is going to... No, there may be a treasure. He did say that they don't know where it is. So be rusted and it's possible to get his, his chest. Ah, what trinkets have we here? Present them for one's perusal. Treasure King Archives. Yeah, I wouldn't think she would be interested in this place. Manuscript of the Martial Ways, Way of the Ring Cutter. When the sword is sheathed, raindrops ignite and float like drifting blossoms. That is uh, key to the way of the rain cutter. I get it now. Uh, annotation in free spirited handwriting. I get it now. I must let the rain accumulate on the blade. That means that I must train rainy days. My humble opinion and crooked handwriting. My humble opinion, there are quite a few problems with this. Those who perform the ring cutter unleash this technique's power with their hearts and eyes, not merely with the sword they wield. The true master of the technique carries an imposing aura without relying on any formidable weapon. When they unsheath their swords, what catches the eye is not the blades, blade edges glint, but a rainbow piercing through the sunlight. First for the handwriting, I got it, I got the hang of it. I mastered the way of wielding ring cutter with, with my heart and eyes. I did it. The crook in writing. After many experiments, I have discovered that this training method is problematic. Do not try. I think those are his. Uh, hang on, because I don't remember. Where is him? Where is him? There. Uh. Rain cutter, rain screen, and Google style. Okay, for the patch, uh, blaze of mist raindrops, the genius. If you are presently unoccupied, perhaps we could stop. Uh, records of Google masters, all who are admitted to learn from the start of the a great master Guhua and dwelt into life ender, the fusion of spear and sword, and faint the roads by eliminating evil during the, the travels. These records are kept to encourage the newly admitted students. Grand Master Guhua, Master of Spear and Sword. The third master with a profound understanding of martial knowledge wrote a manuscript of martial ways. The tome is really old, and most of the writing cannot be discerned. Oh. A companion of hundred arts. 
This ancient tome contains over a hundred training methods of, uh, for esoteric acrobatic techniques, such as swallowing swords, uh, breathing fire, and jumping over or weaving between sharp blades. The Guhua collection holds chivalry to be our spirit. Martial knowledge, our bones. These esoteric techniques are simple small tricks. Those who read this text must be careful not to lose sight of the big picture. Uh, Nine Swords of Swanlion, a novel of martial chivalry with an aged cover and lots of annotations written between the lines. The book describes how Wu Feng, the main character, fell off a cliff while gathering herbs, but ended up learning incredible techniques and becoming a hero of their time, though a twist of fate. Unexpected twist, ah, annotation challenge, handwriting. Unexpected twist, the rusty sword bought, bought from Roadside Vendor turned out to be an extremely powerful blade. Uh, maybe I should go to the market more often myself. Neat handwriting. Falling off a cliff only to find a secret tome full of techniques. The beggar in the village was actually a great master in hiding. Too cliche. This wouldn't fly with modern readers. Crooked handwriting. Uh, but the part where the invading fiends were driven back by the main character who had been living in solid there, that wasn't half bad. Hmm. Uh, key to martial principles. I, Gohua, aloof spear. Uh, this is some kind of talisman. No, there are some words faintly written on this. The handwriting looks like cursive script. At least the talismans have legible writing on them. Uh, no, this is not cursive. Paimon can read any of this. Uh, Tazma we'll have some legible right on them. Well, yeah. Uh, no. Oh, uh, I'll be able to. Remove the water there towards. Uh, uh, I'm supposed to. Probably best that. Uh. The trees next you absolutely must try in Elon Wharf. The colorful pamphlet describes the three most famous snacks in Elon, Elon Wharf in great detail with pictures and words. I was getting a little hungry looking at this. You want to try them around later? Wait, why is this in the kind of archive? should invent some form of curio Goha notes practicing the light piercer technique destroyed all the dummies by mistake no money or resources I've got an idea I'll tie straw together to make my own gathering straw uh, tying straw exhausting practicing light piercer technique destroy all the dummies by mistake my training this sword first continue reading Bored, as I said before the courtyard, I felt slightly hungry. I pondered on what I saw the other day, and I suddenly felt enlightened. If I use the sword in the symbol, I'll call it Ring Cutter. I'll try it another day. Accidentally fell while practicing Ring Cutter. Luckily, it's nothing serious. I thought of an idea. Why not dig a deep bone below the piles? Uh, not only will it prevent injuries from falls, but I can raise fish for food. When I went to a fisherman and bought a dozen fishes, tried to cook them. Their deliciousness was unrivaled. Next 10 or so pages dedicated to the detailed requirements of cooking methods for fish, and some are even paired with illustrations. 
Uh, extended power practicing cutter success. Continue reading. The experienced sword must be wielded with the same mastery as discernible. There is a comment from the third master Psytis, second nature. Uh, and that is the truth yet. There is none. How shall it be granted? How shall it be revealed? Renovate the library, design new thing. Look with the eyes. Look with the eyes. Uh, and combine scrolls of knowledge from all places with chambers of all corners. Then, as your pages are much and intelligible, there is a comment from the third master side. This advises future generations to read extensively. Continue reading. Recovery from injury. The the little bike kid visits. Ah, is this the the, the one that created the clan afterwards? Uh, visited with mutton and fish, plump, delicious, without any pungent smells. As for the recipe, pass down the life ender technique recorded here. The following pages contain detailed records of various methods of cooking mutton. Okay, and the book, no, really bored, but a final, the side lines, observe the eyes. Oh, I did see that there. Uh. Oh, I had the option to activate that before. Sure, what's can I? Uh, the shells, uh, more or less related to this bit of lightning. Um, uh, but is there what's there about lightning there? Uh, this will show more or less related to the blazing summer heat, rain. Martial arts novels for some reason, so the concept is later probably quite useless providing martial prowess. Okay, Skyward! so hang on, uh, here I can't put anything. Oh, let me see, could I Skyward! place some Scatter! here? Oh no. I think the important one was rain. Ah, lining. Ah, okay. So the yellow maybe lining. That one is summer. That one's rain. Ah, no. The color is is not based on the 
scroll is based on the wall. Oh, wait, what? That was right? Huh? What did I... What did I really do? I thought the color was based on the scrolls, but I assumed that the color was, wasn't. I can't really climb it. I wanted to see if they had any markings. I'm not really sure. Uh, I don't think it was just place them all here. Soggy books. Oh, and that fish. Perhaps one should invent some form of curial discernment mechanism. Let's create a martial ways with a light piercer. Burning light piercer converge scatter. Burning the key to light piercer converge scatter. Scatter lights converge flames. Book has sustained heavy da water damage, rendering most of its contents illegible. Bring the old man here. Who knew such big secret could have been hidden in this rundown hall? Honestly, I didn't see it coming either. Maybe that's why they say you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. Also, Pam doesn't think Wang the Third knew about this place either. Hold on, could this place be the actual Guhua chamber, the treasure chamber recorded in legends? Also, you know, just look over there, but I must find something glowing on the platform. It must be treasure. Could it be a mechanism? Anyway, let's go check it out right away. Uh, there's some magic. There's some carp there. Uh, uh. Oh, so the dark can be open using the key he gave us too. I have the key one shot hold the whole time. Uh no, let's check like in the middle first. Maybe it will save me here. Sorry, nice spear. Engraved inscription. The heavens are unfaithful, and those who seek its blessing and gain audience are rare. Fate is capricious, and those who whose prosperity endures are few. They who are favored often find their path barred, and worse awaits those who are not. This monument was left to us this of future generations. When have you reached that end? What shall you do? Touch the stone tablet. Uh, is this another... What? That was too fast. How did it just get pictures from here? Justice will prevail. Stop right there. 
Just survive. No, I'm dying. Let's heal. Yeah, if I was expecting a reasonable fight, I would have changed my party. Uh, that. No, him too. You went for it. Tell you. Oh, come on. Why didn't he? Ah, they died? Wait, uh, do you want to mention something about 12? What? Uh, that was 12 enemies. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. No, I don't think that was 12. I don't know what, oh what she cool. said. This stuff looks dope. Uh. Continuing. No, hang on. What's what's here then? Because I thought I would have to interact with those other things. To unlock something in the middle. 
Okay. Uh, inscription. Mm, what makes Pierce light? Touch stone tablet. Another battle, is that it? Stone tablet is a move. It seems like it no longer sees anything about the world as important. Kick the stone tablet. Oh, great. I have three pyro characters. Leave. Oh, no, I can't. Uh. Ah, those? Uh, what did I. What can I use that for? Yeah! Skyward! Ah, here. Trinkets have we here? Present them for one's perusal. Skyward! Mm, where's the other? Mm, same thing. There's a faint engraving of the spirit in description. Yeah. Ah, to survive? Okay. It's just survive. It's not really... Not even... Don't get hit. It could force me to keep one character alive. To... Ah, what trinkets have we here? Present them for one's perusal. Maybe that wouldn't be too fair. But we can always resurrect them easily. Oh. Uh, can I grab another one? Yeah, okay. So, that's it. Yeah, it's been a while that I don't mess with those. Where do you want this stuff delivered to, boss? I thought I had to find a second one. Uh, what shall cut the rain? Touch this on tablet. What? Uh, they have a certain faith and the same blessing. In the future, there's faint engraving of sword in the description. Up to it, Monzai! <laughs> Hands where I can see! No! Final warning! Stop right! Got her! Skyward! Fire hazard! <laughs> Here come the fireworks! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what the ship do? 
Oh, I have time. I didn't really notice I have time. Okay, so I need to change the part. Mastery of Spear and Sword. Okay, now let's change back to the other party. Ooh, let me open it. Okay, now I guess we can continue. Oh, hang on. Just saw on the map. That. There. Now we can continue. Ah, oh, there's two water here. Oh. Oh, this person should have something written on it. Let my mom see. Caress in the place, I, I go, singing I go, uh, to clear dragons and drink their blood. The divine light, like flowing lightning, the icy edge threatens to smash the mountains. Beneath Mount Chanhain, I slay tigers, the scale beasts I skewer amidst the sea of clouds. Uh, when I return crowned in success, we shall live at ease. There is also a stone tablet next to it. Huh? The handwriting below seems to be different. I originally wanted to leave behind some delicacies here, but the food would inevitably spoil over time. So I left the recipes here for you to cook instead. I assure you, they shall be delicious indeed. Apart from this, nothing else remains, only this sword and a beautiful scenery. When I faced with a dead end, when faced with dead end, uh, what should we do? You already know the answer. Do not take treasure, leaving solely one henceforth. 
Produce me when in despair. Oh, these lines here are so legible. Paimon can't understand in one bit. The earthly mean that he didn't take anything with him. I don't get them either. <laughs> After all this, we didn't find a single valuable treasure. All that hope for nothing. You're telling me? It's okay, I'll make you something to eat. Um, for real? Then it's settled. I would never imagine that we'd be able to still see such scenery in a tight spot like this. Though, it's something at least, right? Some secret. Description. Caressing the blaze. Yeah. Ah, okay. <laughs> ah, and that was the last one. I found the others already. And that's the same thing. Um... Uh, uh, uh. Where was their dangerous? Can I tell them about that? All that? Yeah. Got him. No, he's not here anymore. Ah. Skyward. Got him. Um, but this guy is new. Wakamatsu. Please, master, take me in as your disciple. Disciple. As long as you're sure that you'll practice more, rest assured, I will. Holding buckets with my arms outstretched, holding a low stance under a waterfall, I'll do them all. In a man, such martial art trainings methods don't exist. Uh, once I learn this stuff, it's time to show them what for, huh? Your men are listening to me. You need to start from the fundamentals, like the no initiated disciple at the practice at all. At practice at all. Uh, start with the wooden sticks as your foe. Well, same dialogue. Okay, let's see if the third Skyward, is there. Should be here. Can't touch that now. Open. Oh, someone's ledger. Ah, <laughs> this ledger found in the Wanshan Hall contains detailed records of every last income expenditure, expenditure item. After much thought, I decided to write down the accounts in detail. I'm not getting any younger, so this could come in handy if my memory ever worsens. Three guests, a thousand more donating in total, saved for tablet repairs. Two guests, 300 more donating in total, saved for tablet repairs. Five guests, they claim to value historical heritage and that they hope to promote traditional culture. They started off without donating a thing. Two guests, 3,000 more donated, saved for tablet repairs. One guest stepped on a wooden rack and broke it, paid 500 more as compensation, saved for rack repair. Two guests, a thousand more donated, silver repairs, ordered a wooden rack from Elon Wharf, cost uh, 1200 more, remaining 300, saved for tablet repair. Okay. Okay, I read that, but I don't think I should keep that. The guy will need it. Did he come here? Yeah. yeah. We Skyward. showed that guy Scatter. this place. Especially the one down there. Where is he? Yeah. Skyward. Hmm. 
Hey, it doesn't seem like he came here. Shouldn't he come here? And check this place out? That one's up there. Let's just see the training area. Uh, oh! Was that here before? Before the quest? I don't remember if I fought it. Maybe I did. Come on, use. mythical Congratulations. Yeah, Skyward. Make way for the. You asked for it. A mystic reprieve. Experience initiated for what cycle. Yeah, I don't remember. Maybe I, I did get that. Maybe there was a chest there that I got already. Yeah, but I'd like to see the old the other guy. In the log he had would be more um relevant than this guy well all right let's see what else mm, i don't know they may take a while mm. yeah and then again they may be 10 minutes each yeah Oh, I didn't get the chest. Yeah, skyward, gather. Uh, where is the quest here? Is that it? I. That it? Uh, what's the quest here? Okay, they won't miss me. Uh, let me check on the map what it says. Oh, it's marked already, so it's fine. <laughs> what is this quest? Ah, oh, it's based on time? Uh, huh. Okay, 19. Weird. How am I supposed to know? Yeah, this is based on luck because you need to be passing by at the right time. Uh, am I supposed to? I can't sit. Grandpa? Uh, hey there, kiddo. What are you doing out here at night? What's your name? I'm Shang. Shangyung. I'm looking for my grandpa. Uh, he was kidnapped by demons. Hmm, demons here? What sort? I don't know either. Grandpa said they are in the mountains, so I shouldn't run around by myself. But it's been three days now. 
and he still isn't back from the mountains. He's just trying to scare you, right? It's been three days the guy's missing. Uh, Paimon thinks so too. Did he say that what he was doing in this, those mountains? Grandpa's the village's herb gatherer. The only one? He found a divine plant recently. No one's that said one that said to only grow when water with the blessed waters near Mount Shuanyan. So, may he have dumped some kind of demon guard in the water? Don't worry too much, Shanyu. Shang. Shang. Kyung. Shang Jung. No. Shang Jung. I'm not sure. Shang Jung. Uh, your grandpa might have in just encountered some minor trouble. But it's also really late. Mind if we send you home first? But I want to rescue him. We can help you. Really? That's right, but if you don't go home, you might cause your grandpa even more trouble. Uh, I don't want that. Then let us look for him while you stay home, right? Let's get you back to your home first. It's fine, I live in Chaoyu village. I can head back myself. But could you go look for grandpa immediately? I'm worried about him. Oh, we'll be fine. That said... Do you know where exactly he went? I only know that he went the way. In that case, that's where we'll start. Thanks so much. I'll head back now. I won't cause you all any trouble, so I'll wait here for you. Wait, you head back? Or you wait? I oh, wait there. Wait there for you. Okay. Hey, wasn't she supposed to? Take the boat to her. Yeah. Skyward. Got her. I'm not check this later. Do I have a quest or something? No. Uh, no, I just want to mark where I have to go. Yeah. Skyward. Got her. Yeah. Skyward. Just come set it here because it'll be where the change is going to stay for a while. So you can find clues nearby. Some of notes. I overslept. I have to get back before tomorrow, or no one's going to watch Shang Chu. Uh, I'm a fool. If I remember right, there is a shortcut, a small road leading from Yaodi Valley to Mount Xuanyan. I need to get through the plus one mountain cave. And it will be golden. I heard that there are monsters nearby, but I, I have to give this a shot. This looks like something that her grandpa might have left behind. Seems like he took a small trail. Let's go look for it as well. Ah, there. Just part of the environment you now of the quest. Yeah, <laughs> Sorry, the field is late. I should be the care card. Yeah, I've been here. Alright. Oh. Mm, I was.
was worried about monsters from the start, but so much my tide I can't stop it. So sleepy, but Mount Shonen is just up ahead. Shanju, I'll definitely get those best waters. Shanju, I'll surely get those best. Same thing, best waters. Oh no, he was attacked by monsters and was barely wounded in the process. Wait, he still wants to get the water from Mount Shonyan, even so? Let's hurry, Paimo hopes we can help him. Back. Wait, I did I got the wrong path? Uh, I was there. Wait, where, where would this take me? Yeah, skyward! Ah, this is a dead end. Yeah, skyward! Oh, hang on. Can I just? I can just teleport there. Yeah. Oh, there's a cave here. Uh, is it here? Uh, this should be the place, right? Why is anyone here? Not sure to follow here. Could he have gone back already? Another thing that will happen, he's been injured. Could have. Uh, could he have walked far? But he's not around here either. Could someone have met him on the road and rescued him? All things that might have happened. Shall we go back to Shaolin Village and ask around? Let's get a bit of this blessed water first. Alright, if Shang Jun's grandpa was wrecked, he might still need this. In for the more, in for it all, eh? You are so thoughtful, Wings. Best waters by most food. The water do not look special at all. Shaolin Jun's sacred water. And now for its name, the so-called secret water source from the vicinity of Mount Xuanlian would never have been regarded as anything special. On the contrary, when looking at it after knowing its name, you feel like you can see some delta aura rising from the water. We could always ask... Go oh, on. What? Nobody will say anything? We could always ask... Uh... light about it well i do have a quest marked there that is kind of along the way maybe he will be there yeah skyward scatter <laughs> hmm. wait is that the cave oh no no it's another one No, I'm not sure he would be here. That's kind of along the way, but I don't think he would have entered out the way down here. Do I have that? I can't? I thought I could get fish, I didn't remember. I stumbled upon another quest, didn't I? Carefree Simulacro. Uh, who are those who disturb my beauty sleep? Uh, who is that? Uh, uh, we've seen those. Uh, yes, yes. To fear me is only natural. Were I unconfined to this stone, you would already be in my belly. Are you a monster? Are you guys trapped in statues? I thought you guys were sentient statues. What? Uh, so you're just uh, talking stone statue. I thought you were a monster of some sort. Uh, what does that mean? Just talking stone statue. Will not one such be a frightening, frightening itself? Oh, uh, you come across many statues like you before. Is the thing? Uh, what? Fine. Seems like there's no scaring you guys. Uh, why must you do that anyway? Sheesh, you're just a statue. Mm, if I was 
just a stone statue this place still the herb lord's abode oh when she was yet with us she did not appreciate others disturbing her peace uh, their liberty and that's why i scared all the pesky ones away i shall continue to do so if she isn't around anymore nevertheless your presence does feel somewhat different from that of those ordinary mortals and considering that i couldn't scare you either may i please ask for a favor what can I help with uh take a look at these colorful butterflies ever since the boat's lord departed these little things have scattered all over the place flying about as they please uh hang on there's only there's one in your head just a moment we'll help you get it Can't really get it. Is that okay? So what were you saying just now? What? Yeah, just like that. Uh, the abode's hair blurred previously used these colorful butterflies to adorn its door. But the same mechanism was later destroyed. These colorful butterflies and the medicine jar were originally meant to nourish the Depthal tree. Depthal tree? That's right, back then the herbaler planted this adaptive tree herself. It may be withered now, but the herbalard said that so long as the colorful butterflies have been all dispersed, the tree can be revived. She departed as soon as she lost the power to maintain her human form. I wonder uh, how she's doing these days. As the butterflies converge to the jar, new life shall be restored to the reader tree. Yep, that's right, as long as... Wait, how did you know? Did you read that somewhere? We just... That same line? Never mind. Anyway, that's about it. As long as those colorful butterflies get back in the jar, we can nourish the reader tree. I'm counting on you, kind humans. Perhaps one should invent some form of curio discernment mechanism. Uh, oh no, that's the other quest too. Let, let's continue that quest, then I'll get back here and complete that. But could I meet the grandpa along the way? Or that's it. Yeah. Uncle Luo. I two travelers see we are heard something come by. Well, do you know where Shen Chung and her grandfather live, Uncle Luo? We're looking for them. Shen Chung, never heard of her. Is she from around here? I'm sure I know everyone in the village. Oh, that was uh really that can't be. We met a little girl outside who called herself Shen Chung. And she says she lives in Chowing Village. She asked us to help her find her grandfather she also has a big bamboo raft uh, you can find those quite easily but Shancho, I'm fairly sure there's no one by the name in our village uh, what does her grandfather go by? he's a herb gatherer a herb gatherer, let me think he did have one, so I recall but it's been 3 years since he passed You guys don't have any more herb gatherers. That sounds like I don't think you guys will have more than one. He passed away. Hi, he encountered monsters in the wild, and still, I doubt that's who you're looking for. He was always a little off his rocker, and he never got married, never mind having descendants of any sort. Wait, uh, what's going on here? So, that Shen Jun we met could she have been the real demon. What sorts of herbs did it? your herb gatherer well gather? Flowers and grasses, none of which we've ever seen. Braid, I only know this and that about tea. So I be a little help here. But I do remember that we found him near Mount Shuanyan. He was still clutching a bottle of water. He said that he had a divine plant in his yard that needed that sort of blessed water to grow. Lord of hogwash, you ask me. I mean, 
It's his own just river water. Nothing special about it. Why is he he had to give up his life on a something like that? Still, after we buried him, we poured the water he obtained out in the yard of his. I hope that brought him some solace. The blessed waters of Mount Shonyan. We went there and drew some water too. So this time we got our was of yours. I think we're talking about the same person. Well, that's strange happenings. And no mistake, why don't you come with me? I'll take you to that fellow's yard. If you did draw water, I suppose you can just pour it out in his yard. This we're already talking about it, you should probably add that I never know his name. Name of the character. He was outside and we discovered that he was a bit touching the head when we arrived. He claimed that he picked divine herbs. And no other skill, he couldn't make more needed for him himself. He knocked at the door to ask for help and took pity on him. Later, some beginning of children will call him Adeptus, or on account of his motherings, call capital A Adeptus, including the cause. No one expects something to interpret from him to him afterward, but once did, everyone thought. Everyone thought it thanks him, just people being. Re That's too much talk! Damn it! Why can't you just let me. Manage when I want the unvoiced dialogue to go to the next line. That's where he lived. Mm, this is the place. See the spot. That's where. Uh, just water the blessed water, would you? Uh, there's nothing else. I'll leave you to look around as much as you like. So, there really wasn't anyone named Shenzhou. I was around, maybe it was just a little mistake somewhere, you know? Like someone forgetting where they live and such. In any case, thanks for helping that Adeptus water the herbs. I'm sure he'll do what he can to defend you from harm as things. But I did bring the water here. Come on, couldn't you just push the red area just a little bit further so we don't have that that if darkening effect around? If I wait around, can maybe something happen? Or I would have to wait real time days. Or nothing will happen at all. Because this seems like the kind of thing that could sprout uh, flower or something yeah but who's the girl then because it was just three years ago and he remembers quite well the guy that died but no oh there huh yeah but the quest is done Yeah, I don't know how long I had to wait. It was probably just next morning. Skyward! Uh, I can't talk to him about the same guy again, can I? Now that the quest is over. He's anyway here. All right. Ah, there he is. What a soil, what tea, greetings. A uh, cup of tea, thanks for business. About leaves, rebake it. HD. No, oh, okay. Doesn't matter. It's just random dialogue. Nothing about that. Okay, let's mark that again. And that's up there, alright. Yeah! 
Okay, let's continue that. But yeah, that one seems to need some more. Huh, found that here. Some more explanation about the girl. Yeah, skyward. I don't think Paimon's conclusion that she was the demon would be the right one. See that? Ooh, let me open it. Hmm. Okay, so those will be a few puzzles to fix things up. to go. Okay. Perhaps one should invent some form of curio discernment mechanism. Skyward! Scatter! Okay, let's check there. Check over here. <laughs> retrieve four scattered to retrieve yeah. the Scatter. one Scyber. of the five scattered. <laughs> Where's the last one? 
to farther. The others were just here. Yeah. Uh. Skyward! Scatter! These could be salvaged for parts. Okay, one more. That's less wrong already. But there's more cave back there. And up ahead. Yeah! Skyward! Scatter! Yeah. Hmm. Scatter! What trinkets have we here? Present them for one's no. perusal. Four? Uh, did I... Did I need three... Two... Butterflies ago? Yeah. Skyward! No? Oh. These could... Yeah. Uh, butterfly lime on stalagmites. Super as long as I'm like a butterfly perch. As long as I'm like a butterfly perch on a stalagmite. Am I supposed to just can I put you? On top of stalagmite. Okay, this one that is a bit. <coughs> this is my pedestal, but there's a stalagmite. Replace on a stone stain like a butterfly, a lighting stalagmite. A secret as long as I'm like a butterfly perch or a stalagmite. Am I the one supposed to be the stalagmite? Ah. <laughs> I thought the statue had to be perch or a stalagmite. Not me. And the butterflies to return. The depth of Three should lose the same. We'll take that should like to us. Let's go back. Okay. Ah, what trinkets have we here? Yeah. Well, since I'm here and I'm gathering everything around here. Mm. 
Perhaps one should invent some form of curio discernment mechanism. Dos. There. Okay, I think we're kinda done here. Just go back to the entrance. Hey, you liar. We already returned all the colorful butterflies to the jar, but the depth of three still looks the same to Paimo. Hmm? Who are those two for my... Oh, it's you kind of humans. <laughs> oh, I never thought you would actually be able to find all the colorful butterflies. I just <laughs> said that on a whim. No, I meant I felt that depth of energy is true. We just need to reset the formula that Herblore left us and we can revive the depth of three. Hold on, how did that formula go again? Born in winter, thriving and withering through time. But I yearn for spring when beauty is regained. Butterflies flutter, flutter. Uh, I don't remember what comes next, but it ends with all being revived. Seriously, talking like that in works? It's changed completely. Since Herblord trusted the tree to me, I couldn't stand to see continue to wither. Thank you, kind humans. You couldn't even remember the formula at all. Uh, don't sweat about small stuff. Uh, uh, if you're interested, I can give you a secret tip. Break off a branch and put in the broken jar outside the boat. And the stone gate will open. What stone gate? Uh, this branch? What branch can I break? Ah, get the branch. I don't take a look around, it's a ball and... These could be salvaged for parts. Oh. Ah, I'm back here. Uh, here? Ah, nice. Ah, there was a chest over there and stuff. Speak to me for so long, I'll make sure it's serene. Please share your secret. I buried a few rather nice things on the corner. Uh, a corner of the flower field. If you do not consider them unworthy objects, then they are yours for taking. Corner of the flower field. Okay. Ah, what trinkets nice. have we here? Context one. They say fish have bad memory. I'm starting to wonder if she is one. She won't stop telling me about the motive main jade business. Even though it's all, it always fills me with urge to interrupt her, seeing the look of joy on her face makes me decide against it. If anything, efficiency takes a hit when she isn't here to narrow away. I must keep this locked up. Uh, I can never let any person of fish see this. She might start jumping up for joy otherwise. Welcome crying to me. Please make me some slimy tea. Mm. Well, beasts never change, I see. Don't you know that a human form created by a depth of energy can never gain weight? 
and the fish going along with the whole affair and begging me with a smile despite knowing the truth full well. I agreed. I'll just make it. Who knows? One day it may be useful for the mortals. I spoke to the mess about certain matters. I have bad feeling, although they are usually wrong. This kind of thing should be Fujin's specialty. Still, I should take some precautions. I'll split some adaptable energy off and inject it into the butterflies. Their lifespan will extend greatly. Then, even if something were to happen, the mortals of Chain Vale may be able to follow their guidance and find the formula left behind. And I'm just not gonna share the formula with them or anything. Okay, flower bed. There are flowers here. There are flowers here. There are plenty of flowers here. Ah, that. Ah. Yeah, kind of meh. Alright. So, this quest is complete. Now, I guess there's only one. Hmm. If it isn't long, yeah, we can complete that and then we are done with the quest, I guess. From uh 4.4. Yeah. Got her. Oh, there's a fight going on. Oh, and I'm stuck. Yeah! Skyward! Scatter! There's some fighting going on. I can't talk. Uh, it's just a bunch of treasure hoarders fighting. Why am I signing with those guys and not the others? I'm step over. I'm actually. N Why am I signing with the treasure hoarders? Why am I signing with them? Around door. Uh. So it isn't her. We drink all the same bottle, yeah? We don't say thanks for such big favors. If you are ever in a jam, you just holler and it will be done in a flash. Oh, you're pretty polite. I don't get to the point. Then I've been a little tired of money lately. Just doing my part to uphold justice. They are dressed like treasure holders. Why did I side with them? Uh, the uh, Unimora? Uh, well, funny thing is, there could be a little problem with that. Armora, the big cheese took it all. We've been down our uppers, flat broke here, big cheese. Our boss, the leader of us, Aron Soul Gang. He's with a bunch of Fontanian clients down at the bottom of the cliff there. Uh, left us behind to hold down the fort. But you saw what happened too, right? The spontaneous frogs snuck in while the big shot was away and stabbed us in the butt. But really put the screw on us. Ew, stab you in the butt. Uh, yikes. Brad really trying to take us for a ride. Since they tipped their meats and showed their mugs here, our boss is probably gonna get double cross too. What do you say, Bo? In for the Mora, in for the lot. I wouldn't back out now, would you? As long as the boss is safe, you're going to cheat the swankiest of meals. I can and can live a good life. Where is he? I'll go check it out. On the beach beneath the cliff, you'll see when you get there. I'll leave it to eat and be over uh, and be on over after I finish here. Yeah, I guess I passed by some guys here while I was getting treasures. So many people on the beach, some of the head of the gang are on the mansion. I mean, it been pause, Johnny. So I get you, I get the pickle you found yourself in lately. 
you could have just talked to me straight, but causing a mess like this is enough to break my heart. Well, Paul, you know business as usual is no longer the usual over here. The spin of the Rosula is on the rise, and my brothers are a bit out of sorts. But I still got to look after all the birds in my crew. If this keeps up, they won't even get crumbs. We got we got good business going between us. It's pretty reasonable, but if you can give us more, I'm sure we all know I'll scratch our back in the future. And not huh. There are plenty of other fish in the sea, I mean it's not like you can't find new friends. So I think that means this is your final offer, right Johnny? You got a problem with what I'm offering? You kidding me, Miss Fontaine? Fontaine? Just tell us what you're up to. Who are you trying to steal from uh, with this little money? Stop shouting nonsense. Shut it. Listen, Johnny, the Don Pesky family pays me 55 to a box. And the, the Nero were met a single grunt who was a De Niro. They have a whole family. A 70 to. I shouldn't have to tell you just how big they are in the in Lomidos Harbor, yeah? But for you, I will ask for a hundred grain for three boxes and even threw in special pickup and delivery service on top. Uh, why do I do that? Because I cherish you as a friend. No need for me to harp on all that. I'm sure you just didn't think it through. Let's find a place to drink while we talk, yeah? And no need to talk. I don't need to talk. I know how you do people get about contracts. Since the point of contracts is fairness, I don't think friendship supersedes that. Uh, brother Johnny, someone who understands the spirit of contracts so well, my man ought to learn from you. It's just that, at least on this matter, I like to see you guys respect the contract more. Of course, of course, you're being more than reasonable. And the ancient Liwe tradition of upholding contracts is something we can all admire. I suppose I must find a way to prove my sincerity. Walker, uh, you think you can raise our offer? Say one more per item. That's very generous, Mr. Johnny. These good people of Liwe have worked so hard for us. Uh, so we do own them one extra more per item. Fontaine on frogs, which is what I'm trying to pull here. Come on, Paul, can you just feel my sincerity radiating off me from where you're standing? I think you're gonna breach our agreement, then Johnny. Oh, am I? What do you think, Walker? That's too much talk for them to just start fighting. Mr. Johnny, there's plenty of other fish in the sea, if you ask me. Any minnows should know that. I'm ashamed of you, Walker. How could you insult your, our little friend like that? I mean, we're going to take over their turf soon anyway, shouldn't we show a bit of gratitude? Sorry, Mr. Johnny. You slippery bastards, the audacity to play something like that. Oh, calm down with the insults, no need to be, to be rude. And who are you two youngsters? Now, that is interesting. Uh, are all your children brave like that, Walker? Hey, where did you snotty kids come from? Uh, here's some more, now scram, run back to your mommies. Hey, don't you have any manners? And who are you, too? We are here for a super swanky meal. <laughs> we are here for... To make certain somebodies run back to their mommies. Uh, from the sound of it, looks like you are Mr. Aaron Ming's rusty little help. Uh, so, you had the same idea too, huh, Mr. Arming? Well, we didn't exactly come and prepare Walker. Come out, boys, it's time. What? Oh dear, guess what? I think we have more people on our side. So sorry, Mr. Arming. Before our little meeting, I made prior arrangements to have the people guarding your camp taken care of. Now it's your turn. I'll make sure business is in good hands. Boss Johnny, if you won't get a slain in our business, it won't be duck soup. They talk so weirdly. Well, I hope you can back up your tough talk. Get him. 
Oh, well. Last time I tried, my side was quite stronger, but quite slow to take him down. Okay, the frog. Good, get rid of the ice. Ah, uh, she came here. Pinky clubs. Pinky. Two incredible heroes. I am in your debt. It's quite alright. No matter where you make a deal, you should always honor your contracts. Uh, these little heroes got the picture. Still, you two seem wise to our deal. Why? Andoris told to, us about it. She said you were bootlegging or some such. <laughs> but what does bootleg mean? Some sort of legal transaction. In that case, I must repay you two chivalry heroes. Shouldn't we beat them up too? Boys, come trust them at nice and time toss them into the sea. We should sure tie a few extra rocks to them too. They did us our own insult gang a big favor, so let's not make them suffer more than they should. What? You wanted to watch us? My dear little hero, from what you just said, I would have thought you would understand. Liu is indeed a place very particular about contracts. And walking on a transaction between outlaws means you get silenced. Surely there is an uns unspoken contract known to all. There's no such thing as that contract. Repaying our kindness with murder is the real breach of contract here. Please don't make this harder on yourselves. If I if I have to do it myself, you'll be if you have to do it yourself, you'll be in for a world of hurt. Do you know who I am? Oh no, I'm shaking my boots. Do you know who I am? Shut up. Arm Dower, uh Arm Sh Schwanner, uh just what are you waiting for? Get them. What's around me? You really are heartless. Unjust. Huh. As long as we can stop villains like you from befalling Liu with your criminal conduct, all of our efforts will have been worth it. Round them up. Oh. Huh. <laughs> around me, you lowly scum. Open your eyes and take a good look at us. Who are we? The Millilith. Whoa, whoa, slow down a sec. What's going on? Why the sudden... I heard just newbies. Never imagined you were a bunch of cursed slows. Uh, don't count on me going quietly. Bring it on. You see him by himself now? I think the others are just watching. Yeah, got her. Go grab your weapons. Time for a light show. <laughs> Make way for the Adeptus! Oh. Got her! Yeah. Mighty mythical beast! Final warning! Hands right! Fire hazard! This trip is really worth it. Not only do we get, uh, not only do we get who we came for, but we also got to meet a famous traveler. You know us, of course. I have relatives in Rio Harbor and have heard all about you, so I recognize you from the get-go. But there were too many years around, and I didn't want to risk spooking them, so I didn't come clean. Sorry about that. So it wasn't an illegal deal with, but you know, but a burst. Correct, we've had our eyes on these smugglers for a while now, but only managed to infiltrate them recently with a bit of timely assistance. Have we done something similar in the past? I think it'd be more interesting if we accidentally decided with the uh, wronger party and then they had a misunderstanding with them. It's been about a month since then, 
But today we finally got up the opportunity to nab the Iron Salt Gang and the Big Fontaine Fish all in one fell swoop. Not to mention the fact that those Fontaine, Fontaine Fellows almost wiped us out with their dirty tricks. We were fortunate to have your help, Traveler. Unfortunately, you will have to take a rain check on the swanky fest we promised. However, we do have some more for you, please take it. And don't you think about saying no, you should be rewarded for helping others. That's a contract we should uphold. Uh, otherwise, in the future, fewer and fewer people will be willing to extend the hand to those in need. Okay, we should probably clean the rest of this up. We won't hold up hold you up any longer. Best of luck to both of you. Alright. Huh, did you guys stay here? Traveler came to. Came to? Don't worry, we'll take care of the rest. The gangsters won't make trouble until you again. Traveler came to. You know, did they spoke to you before? Or. No. Sure. Oh no, I didn't pay attention, but it's always this, those two speaking here. Uh, okay, I think that's the last question I had. I just see because I, I think I missed. Should invent some form of yeah. Skyward. Scatter. Where's the there? I forgot to get that. Okay, uh, I actually don't know if I have them all. Maybe I do now. Because I was mostly avoiding the places where I knew there were quests. No, that's not all yet. Yeah, but it's almost. The secrets of the mechanical arts are too profound to convey in a okay, few simple I'm words. I'm sure there's still some details oh, I may be missing. The listener grow weary? But I guess I can do some other time. Let's just spin those. No. No. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, let's change to get shell. No. I guess it's the second I get here. All right, yeah, I'm gonna save for the next banner. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Guess everything's done. Let me see. I'll mark that one. I'll mark that one. Yeah, I guess the quest I actually completed. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good for today. I'm gonna end here. And I'm out.